Hey guys, welcome to my OtterBox Defender unboxing for the iPod Touch 5th generation. Let's get started. For this unboxing, as usual, I'm going to use my well-loved unboxing knife. Keep the comments coming. They're actually quite amusing. Let's see, where's... Do I even need to use tape? Uh, do I even need to cut the tape? It's more like it. Uh, see, something there. Nothing there. Alright, sweet. Pretty minimalistic. Oh, yep. Let's see. Here's just return label. Oh, that's nice they included that. Well, here's here it is. Let's get started. I got the black model. I wanted to have the best of both worlds, have the white iPod touch, and then at the same time have a black case. Alright, so I guess we just pull this out of here. I've been very excited to get this. I love OtterBox, if you couldn't tell. You have purchased an OtterBox, you bought more than a great case. Give us a whole little poster, included in Spanish. And I don't know what other language that is. Directions. So yeah, let's get started. This is just a little sticker. This is much, much thinner than I thought it would be. Speaker. Ooh. I, I, I kind of like this. Alright. Oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, comment. For those of y'all who saw my Griffin unboxing, I mentioned how it was somewhat difficult to take apart. This one's even worse. It's not that it's hard, but there's you just start pulling somewhere random and it doesn't even... There's no specific place where you start. The Griffin case is winning on assembly and disassembly. Okay, got that done. There's the iPod Touch. Let me clear the fingerprints since I do not plan on taking this off anytime soon. All right, so just we just put it there. Clean the screen protector. We just put it on like this. Okay, I guess after that part's done, we just put the rubber around it. They must have put in a new material. This is much different than the fourth generation. Maybe I should have gone with the white. I did not think that. Here, let me. Focus. I did not think that it would show the bezel that much. Well, seems to work. Oh, it also came with, since you can't really use the loop, it comes with a little lanyard and a little thing on the side. Just stick that in there. Just tie it in. There. Now you have a makeshift loop. Okay, so let's front facing camera. There is no screen protector, I believe. Nothing covering up the camera, which is good. Shows off the Apple logo. Speakers are not covered up. Somewhat easy access to lightning if you have good if you have fingernails easy access. Well, you get the point. Lightning headphone jack. I'm pretty sure most aux cables will be able to fit in there. Let me test it. Yes. 
so most aux cables should be able to fit. Well, this has been my unboxing and first impressions of the OtterBox for iPod Touch. See you in the next video.